The worst part of soldiering for me was going on night patrols. You had what they call a, a fighting patrol, nighting a fight patrol, and a reconnaissance patrol. A reconnaissance patrol would be to go out and get information, to find out exactly where the the enemy was, how many there was, if, if there, how many tanks there was, you know what I mean, how big their front was, and a fighting patrol was to, was to go out and draw, fi draw, draw fire. Now I remember one, one instance, uh, 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 that they had a fighting patrol going out one night, and uh, I made myself very scarce when they were choosing this, this fighting patrol, and uh, we had a fellow with us named Cobden. He was an elderly sort, and I don't know, he might have had a premonition. Cobden, for some reason, didn't want to go out that night, and he asked uh, Hockley to take his place. And Hockley wouldn't take his place, and he came to me. And he asked me, and I told him, no, I'm not going, not at night, I'm not going out. So he had to go, and lo and behold, lo and behold wouldn't you know, he got killed. He got killed, and I remember the night they came back, we were in a, in a bombed out, we were in a bombed out place, and uh, when the patrol came back, we found out that they had to leave him. They couldn't even bring him back. And the sergeant that went out with them, Hodge, got his both his hands shot up. But what is, what is really sad about it is like when the patrol goes out, as the fellows that are on the patrol will come to you with their their effects, their personal effects, and they'll ask you, uh, if I don't come back, you can send this home to my wife, send this to my family, these destroy, these you can keep, you know what I mean, that's, uh, it's, it's sad.